S and D is like chess, where if you just have a game plan, that could potentially win most of your games. However, there will be moments where you run into another really good chess player or S and D player, and they know how to counter you. They know how to juke you out, where they throw a stun grenade in one section of the map that makes you think they're there, and they instead went towards the opposite. There's a lot that goes behind it, um, but we're going to start off with creating a plan. You need a plan. So I think it's good to have three offensive plans and three defensive plans. So if you're playing solo, right? If you're if you're solo queue in ranked play, let's say um, you're you're kicking it off on defense. Okay, so we're number one on uh, defense over here. I almost forgot defense. Uh, so you're number one on defense, and typically on Breenberg Hotel. What's the first round that most people do on defense? Usually the hit A, right? Um, or on offense, people usually hit A. Therefore, you're going to want to defend A. So depending how you want to play it, you can understand that, oh, well, on the first round, most teams always hit A. So I'm going to play it aggressive. Like I'm a submachine gun player. I love playing it aggressive. So I do this play almost all the time where I rush up middle I'm running, I dolphin dive to right here, and then I throw my stun grenades and my grenades in like this section right here. And then once I get some hits, I start pushing up, and then I start looking for kills. And then I keep pushing up, keep pushing up, keep pushing up, all the way until I get to a position like this. Now, most of the time, this works for me, and it's gonna take trial and error. What I mean by that is when you're running, you may mess up your movement because you mess up your movement. You end up getting one shot by number one and then you get naded and you died. So now you have to make sure your movement is perfect, right? So once you get your movement perfect, now you're in this position, you throw your stun grenades, you push up and you die because your stun grenades didn't hit any of the enemies pushed up on A-bomb. So that's another mistake, right? That's another thing you have to fix is your grenade throws. So you fix your movement, you fix your grenade throws, and now you finally push up, and you get the first kill, congratulations, but then you die to the second guy. So when you die to the second guy, there you go. You need to find another solution, right? So we now fixed our movement, we fixed our stun grenade play, we get our kill, now we understand that the second player is always playing on God Heady or usually playing on the right head glitch. So you can just flat out rush, get to this head glitch right here, and then just fry him. Boom, there's your two piece in the first round of offense. And that is a plan that takes trial and error, but now it is a foolproof plan where this always works for me. So now that's one strat on defense. You played it aggressive, right? So now the enemies, they're like, whoa, this guy played super aggressive. Let's let's all just like pre-aim and wait for him, right? So now what happens is like all the enemies, they're like, oh, okay, so this enemy likes to push up and do this play. So let's play defensive. So like number two sits there. You have another player sitting on God Heady. You have another player sitting on this Heady. And then you have another player just like, I don't know, sitting lobby, right? Um, so now you're getting countered. This is what I was talking about, how good S&D players, they counter you, where they're anticipating your push. So your second S&D strat can easily be just snipe A or pull out an AR or maybe flank B, something like that, right? So like your second play could be, oh, they're all going to play for me pushing up on A, so let me rush through B. So you literally just do a simple uh, rush through B play. Um, so typically when you rush through B, you can jump on this car, jump on this flower pot, uh, pot, jump over onto this water pool, run, 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 get to this dark. By the time you get to this dark, you throw a stun grenade right here to make sure you're safe and no one's there. And then as you're pushing up, you always beat this player to this door. And as you're pushing up, if you don't see anyone there, right? So like you push up, you don't see anyone there. Now you have your full flank. You go for this full flank. Boom, you get your three piece. That's two rounds of defense where you get five kills. Now you have a kill streak. That's going to guarantee another round win. And then another defense is now the enemies are like, oh, shoot, this guy is flanking us, right? 
So now they know that you're flanking. So now they do like a setup like this. So, something like this. Uh, where now they have two players B, they have two players uh, A, and then this one player occasionally goes middle. Where now at this moment, like the enemies, they have a good spread where you can't push anymore. So your third defense might just be pull out a sniper and snipe A. Or just pull out an AR and play top bed. And just like that, you have three defensive plays, right? So rush up middle, rush through B, and then pull out an AR and play slow A. You can use those three defenses out of 11 rounds, all right? That's why that's why um, having three defenses and three offenses is the magic number. Is because, like, that, that's six rounds right there. <laughs> if those six rounds go perfect, you win the game. And you have five other rounds just in case uh, you make any mistakes, right? So... Uh, essentially what I'm talking about is you have six rounds that work out of the 11 and now you can make more strats. It doesn't have to be three. You can have four defensives, four offensives. I, what I used to do is I used to make 11 strats per game and then I would cut it down into my favorite three that works for each side. And now I just stick to that. Um, but now let's go ahead and uh, let's talk a little bit more about uh, like offense, right? So we didn't talk about offense too much. Um, so offense, offense, I'll tell you right now, it requires team coordination where you need to get onto your mic and say, guys, go A, guys, go B, guys, just play for kills. And what do I mean by that? So in the first round of offense, most teams expect you to go A on Breenberg Hotel, right? Most teams expect you to go A on Breenberg Hotel. So if you wanted to, you can send four players at B, and just by bomb rushing B with all four of you, no matter what, you're going to win trades, right? So typically there might be one player here, one player inside a kitchen, and then one player middle. Just having you four fly at B, you guys are winning trades where now you're going to be left in a 2v2 with post plant in kitchen, which usually means you're going to win the round. You just kind of make sure you win your gunfights, right? Just work with each other, hold each other's angles. So that's like the first offensive round. And because that offensive round goes super good, guess what? The enemies are going to go, oh, shoot, guys, B worked for them. So what happens now is you're going to have like two players rushing through B and then you're going to have like one player probably come up right here and then one player sitting and like holding middle trying to watch the A cross where now this is where all four of you can just go A and get it bombed down and then push up something like that. Right. Um, So like that's like that's the first offensive strat you can do. You know that the enemies are playing defense A. So just go B. Because B worked for you twice. So, like, let's say you hit B offense twice, and it worked for you twice. The third time around, enemies should be having more people at B, where now you go A. And now you just juke the enemies out. So you go B twice, and then you hit A once. Um, if you're on a professional team, or if you get onto a team with, uh, you know, four people, you, you can have, like, strats where it's like, okay, you know, this guy, uh, you're going to cross over towards top, this guy right here, just stay on guitar, watching middle. This guy is going to be helping you middle. And then this guy is going to be sitting um, top, watching top bed and bottom bed. Right? And, like, you guys have the game plan just like that. Number three is baiting out nades. So, eventually, all the nades, you know, gets thrown at three. Three dies. But that's okay because now four can push up, get post plant. We have four with post plant. He gets out. He plays his life here. Uh, watching the full flank, this player plays God Heady, and then this player plays uh, passive like this. And, like, you invested one life where now you guys have a, you know, three-man setup post-plant where you guys should be able to win that. Um, to make things just a little bit more easier, if you have the Discord and you're playing with teammates, like, you can find strats that work. So it's like, oh, okay, so um, Breenberg Hotel s &D. Let's look at my defenses. So... Like, oh, here's a defense strat that we can take, right? Where we have one player bottom bed, one player top bed, one player middle, and then one player kitchen just snaking, right? This is this is like a, hey, guys, enemies, they keep hitting A a bunch, so let's have one player couch, two bed, and then one player B. And, like, it would be played out like this. 
Um, going over to offenses, again, just playing it coordinated, right? Where it, it's it, it's just all about playing it coordinated, where we're fast planting, right? So, like, you guys can do a fast plant play where, number one, his job is just to throw a trophy system down, get bombed down, two and three, they're looking over number one, and then number four back here, he's watching the full pinch. I'll just go ahead and advance it. Uh, number four, he's watching the full pinch. You guys get bombed down, done. You're coordinated, boom, you win. Um, so really, winning SND is all about just having a game plan. Literally having a game plan. And when you have that game plan, um, you're, you're going to have a higher chance of just winning, flat out. Right? So you have six perfect uh, SND rounds that work, and you have 11 rounds to make it work. Um, awesome. So usually this is where I ask for like questions, any, any questions, any questions. Um, but I don't have anyone here, but that's okay. I think today was a really good topic, uh, just to at least go over the fundamentals of S and D. Um, one thing we didn't talk about yet was like making sure you have like team strats, right? So team strats, like if we're playing defense and we're playing defense, so Red team is defense, okay? So, like, let's play... Let's say it's the first round of defense, and you guys don't know what the enemies are going to do. Usually, you would have, like, one player playing in B, one player sitting here just, like, looking for the push through, and then um, two players at A playing it like a default, right? Like a normal default that most people play. And then, let's say you now understand that the enemies, they don't go B at all. So because the enemies don't go B at all, you can use this player to go for a full flank. Or you can take him off B and like do that middle hit we talked about. Where now two of you do that exact same middle hit that we just talked about, pushing up and killing the enemies off of A. Right? And that's just countering the enemies. Where, oh, they keep hitting A? Let's let's send four players at A and just play trades. Uh, so you have a few setups. I hope this class helped. Usually the biggest thing that makes these classes work is um, people ask questions. So please, anybody who watched this, ask me any questions that you have about this and I'm always happy to help, okay? All right, but that's going to go ahead and conclude it. Thank you everyone and I hope you all have a great weekend. All right, thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.